Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. And now Odyssey footage of the latest mission has dropped, along with when the Alpha is going to be released. Let's take a look at the mission, give our thoughts, really break it down and take it apart. So straight off the bat, let's address the elephant in the room. When are we going to get our hands on this pre-alpha footage? Well, the 29th of March is when it's going to drop. So check back for more videos on this then. So let's take a look at what happened in the actual footage we've been given. So Dave Braven came on and said, hey, you know, they're doing a good job of getting things sorted out. Here we are we're on approach directly to a planet and the planet rendering I think looks absolutely fantastic I've got to say it what it's going to look like on my old 1070 graphics card though I don't know and that's what I think is going to be the key thing to take a look at so our pilot has dropped the, uh, the ship down to the planet that's great he's landed it's a munitions stockade and here come our protagonists we get a good look at the suits as well as skimmers flying around um, footprints on the, the floor excellent lighting coming down over the ridge line we've got here and that's great absolutely brilliant now they're saying that they're currently clean so if the guards approach them uh, just let them be scanned don't go firing until they get to the objective so obviously you know notoriety and your status is obviously going to take some sort of toll on this so we've got sentry skimmers, they're avoiding uh, the guards, there's a bit of stealth and line of sight avoision going on, and that's good stuff. There's the command centre right at the back, that's where they're going. There goes our ship. Again, excellent. Nice to see a, a bit of blue. Um, on the planets as well, between the, the blue, the black, moving to the blue on the sky and down. Here we're getting a damn good look at the um, the HUD. So everyone's moving up now. They're scanning everybody. Quintessential med kits. You just know that's a med kit just by looking at it, and that's great. A little bit of a Michael Jackson shuffle going on there with that character as he was sidestepping. Didn't look too out of place though. I got eyes on the power building. Are you okay to move up? Yeah, let's move across to the command center. I wonder if the footprints on the sand change when we walk across them. That's going to be something to take a look at. I don't know what's in that box there on the left hand side. Storage crate there, don't know what that is. Can you access it? I don't know. Still having a good look around. The skimmers are still flying around, that's good. So very sort of sneaky beaky. It kind of reminds me of Solid Snake. And now we've got the bit of hacking going on. And you can see where they've sort of like channeled, or we're gonna we're gonna cut that panel open, alien style. Do you know what I mean? Um, then fuse fuse the door to get in. So this is this is cutter. At least it doesn't take too long to do the cutting like it does in some games. So that's quite good. And let that falls off. This is um, the siphon tool. Siphon the power out, perhaps. Okay. No one's having a good look round. Are there any guards coming? So he's going to siphon the power, and that's going to open the outer door. Now the people inside are completely oblivious to this. The fact that the door's opened and someone's cut a panel off. So they're going to take out the workers inside bit harsh for the workers coming in just doing their jobs looking forward to their sandwiches at dinner time and they get popped in the back this is a little bit funky it all went a little bit lord of the dance then with his legs if you notice so that's the reactor 
looks very sort of warp quarry reactor-ish, doesn't it? Very good. Like, it wouldn't be too out of place on Star Trek. So they've interfaced with the panel. Shut the core down. Right, disengage the regulator. Okay, do that then. Right, so their base is on alert. You've got the lights, nice flashing alert sound. Lights flashing all around the base, and now all the guards are waking up. So there's more med kits inside. Good, good stuff for that. Here come all the guards. They've got their shields on, but shields will look a bit. I mean, I don't. And I've watched this a couple of times. How many times have you got to shoot somebody to drop them? Because he's letting him have it good and proper. Right? Shooting, 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 shooting. His shields look like he's gone, but we don't see anybody sort of like, you know, hitting the dirt, as it were. It's a bit of long range. He's got like an extended scope. Nice rearm as well. So we've got like a small handheld SMG, so like, you know, very much like what a lot of scouts use. You've seen that on other sort of like first person games. And I've got to say, it seems to be playing quite well. It's pre-alpha footage, right? It's, it's pre-alpha, so there's going to be some tweaking done. Alright, here comes the pilot. He's coming in for his evac. They're picking up the regulator, so he's got the regulator. There's loads of guards outside. Now, this is the bit I found a bit odd. So we're doing a run for it now, right? Yeah, people are shooting at us. Great. There's shield strength there as well. 70% bottom left-hand corner. They're making it out to the west side of the, of the base. Here comes our pilot. For, he's on the 43% shields, so letting it go with his little sort of like handheld sort of S SMG sort of thing. Again, I mean, how many guards are there and how many do you have to take out? Of course, the skimmer, the Goliath skimmer's having a go at them now. Like, it's a shame, really. Um, you can't lay down some additional fire in the ship. Um, and is that skimmer, does it, have the, does it have the ability to scan the ship? And are these people who have pulled off this heist, are they now wanted? Have they been scanned? Okay, so they're getting to this, this blue circle mark, which means they can get onto the ship. So we still can't run up the, the ramp. And then they're off. They're gone. And that's the end of that. So, let's have a look at some of the key points. So we've got our first real look of being outside and walking around. I mean, no footprints. Hopefully that's going to be put in later. There are footprints around showing where people are moving. Good view of the ridgeline. Good lighting effects. Nice to see a blue sky once in a while. We can see where areas have been travelled as well inside the base. Um, and that can also gauge, I think, when where people are moving and where you know the movement lines of troops in the base actually are. Now here we've got our med packs, so they're left lying around. Good to have them. And it's a good placement as well when you see them a little bit later on, like in in the actual sort of like the encampment in the room. This guy, look, I thought this was a bit of a problem beforehand, but he's doing a good sort of sideways shuffle because um, he's looking, so he's sidestepping, and I thought that was a good um, effect. Okay, moving on, so we've got the habitation, we've got command, you know, all these different areas you want to avoid, obviously you want to avoid habitation when you're storming somewhere. There's the command centre as well, and we've got the, you know, the track marks in the sand on the planet's surface, showing where people have been, so you know where to avoid. We've got the cutting tool. I like the look of this, you know. Very sort of reminiscent of Aliens. Cutting that panel open and then giving it a bit of mischief. This needs work, though. Uh, and let's talk about this a minute. 
Now it is pre-alpha footage, though when he got shot, it was legs and arms everywhere, falling through steps. So, you know, this kind of needs a bit of work because people are just gonna pick up on this and tear it apart. I mean, you know, well, obviously it's pre-alpha footage. Let's hope it gets fixed. So moving on, there's the reactor core and what you've got to get out. So you've got to disengage that, disengage the regulator, regulator pops out. That was quite good. And then when you start engaging the guards, their shield comes on. You hit them a couple of times, the shield goes off. But I didn't see anyone actually put down. And then there they are on their way out. You know, laser beams firing everywhere. You've got, it looks like explosive canisters here, there and everywhere as well. Again, more shielded guards coming at you. I mean, what's it got to take to get someone put down on the deck so they don't shoot you? And then we've got, you know, the, uh, the escape to the ship. With the Goliath skimmer taking people off as well. Fortunately, the ship not taking any damage. So, in all, I was quite impressed with it. Needs more polish. I mean, but they're putting a full first person shooter and stealth game into a space combat game. So, it's trying to be all things to all people. And, you know, no one is ever really going to be happy, I think. But for pre alpha, I thought it looked all right. Hey, I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. Check back for more videos. Um, on the Odyssey series and Elite Dangerous videos and videos from other games. We stream live on a Saturday and Sunday uh, and we'll be talking about this then as well. So take it easy, stay safe, I'll see you soon.